Fox 5 and Hot 97 present Street Soldiers with Lisa Evers. I'm so glad you're joining us for this episode of Street Soldiers on the tattoo explosion. We are seeing tattoos everywhere. A Rasmussen poll found that about 33% of Americans have at least one tattoo. It can be a style statement, an expression of love or loss, or a way to define your identity. Whatever the motive, tattoo artists recommend that you think before you ink. One former heavyweight boxing champion, Mike Tyson, got a face tattoo in 2003. There was stunned reaction. Years later, face tattoos, small and large, are a growing trend, despite the time and pain required and the cost, which can run into thousands of dollars. Celebrity tattoo artist Kevin Leroy recommends doing your homework so you can get the results you desire. Do your research. Make sure that whoever does your tattoo is the right artist for you. Make sure that they're well-versed on whatever style that you're looking for. Make sure that they're certified. Once banned from many professions, tattoos are now seen on pro athletes and performers on the public stage. From heavy metal artists to hip-hop stars, tattoos are a way of setting themselves apart from others and yet looking like they belong on the scene. Some tattoos, like Tupac Shakur's Thug Life tattoo on his stomach, become iconic. Tattoos can be very important to a hip-hop artist. Um, you know, sometimes they get tattoos to tell stories that they've been through, um, whether it's to share their memories. It's a form of expression, to be honest. Um, just as well as their lyrics are telling a story, their bodies are telling a story now, too. Reality TV star Black China surprised fans when she decided to change her entire look and have a tattoo which she said had a demonic theme removed. Tim Gorgon, owner of Gotham Tattoo Removal, had what's called full sleeves, tattoos on both his arms when he was in a heavy metal band. Now as a businessman, he's halfway through removing them all, but it takes time, anywhere from four to 12 sessions, about 12 weeks apart, and it can be costly. Palm size, something like this, usually starts around 250 per session. It kind of goes up and down from there, depending on the size of the tattoo. Usually sleeve work, I cap out or like 450 per session. Let's find out what our panel has to say. Joining me right now is Tim Gorgon, he is the uh, with the founder and CEO of Gotham Tattoo Removal. Tim, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it. Also with us is Amber Corinne. She's a staff writer and a culture commentator with Vibe Magazine. Amber, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Thank you. We're excited to have you. And also with us is Kevin Leroy. He's um, also known as Babyface Killer on his Instagram, and uh, he's a very well-known tattoo artist, entrepreneur. You've seen him on TV all over the place. Kevin, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. We appreciate it. I want to start with you, Kevin, on this. What made you decide to get into the field of becoming a tattoo artist? Honestly, I was, I had just graduated high school. It was 2006. And uh, I mean, at the time I was an artist that I, that knew I didn't want, really want to go to college and it, it honestly just chose me. I was getting tattooed and I had a guy who was um, kind of mentoring me at the time, um, kind of pushed me into it. And I mean, it just, it just made sense. You know, it's just, it, it was one of those things that like, you know, made me money and I was, I was really happy doing it. Are you, and you enjoy, obviously you have the artistic talent as well. That was a big part of it, right? Yeah, I've been an artist my entire life. So it just, it just absolutely made sense. When I, when I did it, I didn't, I wasn't sure that I wanted to do it. Um, but I remember like kind of trying it out and, um, and practicing, you know, like, you know, like little fake skin and all that. And it just, it was something that just really intrigued me. And it was just like, like, I mean, I didn't, I didn't think much was going to come from it, but like the more I did it, the, the, the more it made sense. And here, and here you are. So we're going to find out more about the, about your amazing career as well and all the work. Amber, tat we see the tattoos on artists, a lot of hip hop artists. Can you be a hip hop artist today without having any tattoos? Well, you know, there are some artists who don't have any, but we know that tattoos has, bec has become another element of hip hop, right? Just like we have, you know, graffiti. Back in the day, there were break dancers down to the clothes that you wear, the jewelry that you wear. Tattoos are just another element of that, of hip hop, right? And, you know, sometimes it gets a negative connotation when it comes to rappers because, you know, often it's associated with violence and, you know, negativity. But then, you know, tattoos do tell a story. You know, it tells um, memories that they've been through. Um, it's a form of expression. So I think that, you know, being a rapper and expressing yourself through lyric 
you know, it goes hand in hand with having tattoos who kind of, you know, that kind of express what you've been through, but on your body. So I, I wouldn't say it's a requirement, but we know that it's definitely an element of hip hop. And people are and very and very popular with the fans too, obviously. Absolutely. All right. Tim, you you had a lot of tattoos, so you still have some and you're taking them off. Why? Um, just my, my aesthetic kind of changed. I started getting tattooed when I was like 19, 20. And, uh, just over the years, the stuff that I had was, uh, you know, I wasn't in love with it anymore. And the caliber of artists now these days are like way better. So, um, I knew, uh, a dude who had a laser and I started getting laser myself. And then I used to be a traveling musician. And then once I ended my touring career, I kind of wanted to be in the tattoo industry somehow. And that's how I got into laser. But, um, but yeah, I've been lasering this like five sessions and um, I'm already getting up here covered up. So um, well, I have a lot of clients that come to me that want old stuff gone just to, you know, it's the same thing, like their aesthetic changes and they, they want something new. And then can you show us your other arm that you still have the tattoos on? Yeah. So that, that's, wow. is that <laughs> it, it, that's crazy. Is that painful to take it off? Uh, it's, it, it doesn't tickle. I'll tell you that, but um, it, it feels like a, like a hot rubber band snapping on your skin. Basically the, the process is super fast. Uh, the most it'll take usually for sleep work is usually like five, 10 minutes and any, anything small is usually like a couple seconds to like two minutes. Stay with us. There's more to come. What are the kind of things that people are getting tat tatted on right now? So for me, the main thing that I tattoo, um, are typically like portraits, you know, of like loved ones, people have passed. Um, a lot of times people are getting like, um, you know, uh, religious theme tattoos, like whether it be, you know, like uh, crosses or, you know, uh, Virgin Mary, things like that, things like classic imagery, things that, you know, you won't regret in 10 years. But at the same time, you know, I mean, I've, I've seen people get like, uh, right now what's, what's really popular is like anime tattoos. You know, I feel like that's the culture that's that's been blowing up here recently. But I think it just depends on like region or like, the things that you that you're just interested in but everybody's different but for me right now all i tattoo for the most part is just portraits and roses for for real oh that's great so then that's very that's very intricate how long does it take to do to do a like a portrait tattoo like on somebody's arm or somebody's leg so i do black and gray and color so like for a black and gray portrait typically it could take anywhere from like maybe three to six hours but a color portrait could take anywhere from six to, to 12 hours. I've, been, I've even spent up to 30 hours on a, on a color portrait before, but it just ranges up depending on the, on the photo. Amber, with that, with hip hop artists in particular, are there certain themes that are popular on their tattoos that you've noticed? Um, I would say a lot of like, like pretty much what Kevin said, um, you know, whether it's the spiritual thing, the portraits, um, I think for me, one that kind of stands out and I'm not really sure um, of the concept behind it, but you know, the ice cream cone that's on Gucci Mane's face, like that one stands out to me a whole lot. Um, so I guess it really depends on, you know, what it means to those rappers and why they're getting them. But um, I've definitely seen a lot of the spiritual um, scriptures and portraits and, you know, even down to their name. So Tim, the tattoos have become all, obviously they've always been associated with gang culture as well with, with some law enforcement. I'm a, usually a, a police and crime reporter. But the, um, there's, there's a lot of law enforcement agencies, they have databases of different tattoos that signify, you know, certain gang affiliations, uh, certain things that they've done in the past in terms, in terms of on the streets. And then even now, like there's, there's a lot of these whole neck tattoos. How tough is that to get taken off if somebody comes home, you know, after doing, doing some time or whatever, and they decide they want to turn their life around and make a fresh start? Um, usually not too hard. Um, it really depends what kind of ink, especially if they got it in prison. It really depends on the kind of ink that they got tattooed with. Most of the time in, in prison, it's not, you know, ink that you would buy from, from a store or online or anything, but it's, it's pretty dumbed down. So the, the ink comes out relatively quickly. So usually when people come to me and they want, they have some, something gang, gang related removed, uh, it's relatively pretty easy, usually two to three sessions and then again, it comes right out. Even if it's, even if it's like on your neck. The neck is actually a good spot to get lasered because the, the whole process is relying on blood flow. And obviously there's a lot of blood flow here. Right. Um, so neck tattoos usually tend to fade pretty quick. Wow. Yeah, but what about the face tattoos? Because we've seen like so social media has been, you know, th there's been a lot of lot of talk and controversy and po just, just a lot of attention 
about people having face tattoos. We can we'll see you know like a very pretty girl and she's got like tattoos all over her face. Like there's barely an inch of of skin that's that's not tatted. What do you think about these face tattoos? Because remember when Mike Tyson came out with the the tattoo on his face years ago, people were like, "Whoa, that was like so crazy!" And now it's not that uncommon, right? I mean, honestly, like it goes it goes two different ways. I feel like some people, you know, is just part of the tattoo culture. You know, you'll get you'll get a lot of tattoos all over your body. Like your real estate is is gone, and you know, there's only one place left, and it's like, okay, I have ideas for my face. But then you have the culture nowadays where a lot of a lot of younger people are getting, um, you know, tattoos on their face, I think, just for the wow factor, where that is one of those things that I just really wish that people would kind of like uh, take more time to consider because, you know, you, you'll get it. And and then you maybe like five years later, you, your, your aesthetic changes and you have to go and see Tim, you know. So <laughs> I just feel like I just feel like that's one of those things that I just I don't want people to get face tattoos, you know, just to kind of. Uh, have the little shock value, you know, just to be able to post on Instagram. Like, but yeah, it's definitely becoming more popular, way more popular than it was when I was coming up. Kevin, if people are going, going to look for a tattoo artist, what are some of the things, because we see these shops opening up in a lot of different places. Are there certain things that people should be looking for if, when they select a tattoo artist, aside from the creative part that they like the work or, you know, a friend had their work done there? Uh, I would say if if you are in the area, I would, you know, I would visit the shop, kind of see what the vibe is inside. Uh, cleanliness is first and foremost. Um, definitely going into their Instagram, you know what I mean? Looking for consistency, making sure that that whatever style that you're looking for, that, that they can consistently put out good work in that style. Um, but I mean, there's a lot of different factors that go into uh, choosing a tattoo artist. But first and foremost, making sure that they're professional, you know, because I feel like a lot of times people can can make things look a certain way on Instagram, but then when you actually see them in person, it may not be the case, you know. So um, I just tell people to just take your time. Like, I mean, you know, our bodies are for as long as we're we're around, so it's not anything to just rush and jump into. It's like looking for a doctor, you know. You don't, you won't just go to anybody for you know, a, a, a surgery, you know, so it's like kind of like approaching it the same way. And what about that? And because you own a tattoo a studio as well. What about what about the safety precautions? What kinds of things have to be should people be looking for? Uh, everything has to be clean, sterile and make sure if you go see the tattoo room, make sure all the stations are nice and uh, kept and everything. Um, make sure there's no bugs running around or anything like that. Um, yeah, just, just cleanliness is, is, uh, is next to godliness. So that's, that's very, very important as far as a tattoo studio goes. And then is there any kind of like certification that they have to have or that, that you have to have? Uh, as far as in New York, you just need to be certified by the state. Um, as far as, um, regulations go, as far as like a sink per station and everything like that in New York city, that's not the case. I know that's some, uh, that's the case in other places. Um, but, uh, yeah, everyone just keeps everything super clean, super sterile. Uh, everyone has a, a BVP certification, but more pathogen uh, certification. So everyone's about well versed in that. Um, so yeah, that that's that's pretty standard in, in the tattoo community. But Amber, what about the individuality? How much of getting a tattoo is about somebody wanting to have their individual identity asserted? Um, I think it has a lot to do with that. I do believe, um, like I said before, that some are just in the moment and getting tattoos and not really thinking about it. But there are some who really have tattoos who tell a story and really you know, symbolizes something that they've been through. So I think it does identify, you know, who you are. I think to like people like Tupac, you know, the late Tupac who had the thug life tattoo. And that was like his, uh, you know, a statement that when we think of that too, we, that tattoo, we think of Tupac. And when we see other rappers getting similar tattoos, we think of Tupac. We know that, you know, they're emulating him. So, um, you know, that's one that kind of, you know, symbolized who he was and that's who we associate with. So tattoos can definitely serve as like, you know, a part of someone's identity. Absolutely. And they're 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 brandy. Kevin, what about that? No, I, I think that was a really good example. Um, one thing that I, that I, well, within the last couple of years, I've done a lot is is Nipsey Hussle and things related to him. You know, like God will rise and you know, um, prolific. You know what I mean? These are all things that that are uh, closely related to the things that that Nipsey you know stood for. 
you know? So <clears throat> I feel like with that, you know, you kind of can develop your own identity, you know? So I, I just, yeah, I agree. I mean, it, it all depends on, you know, what your, what your lifestyle is and what you believe in, you know, that's, that's basically the, the entire ideal behind a tattoo. And then in terms, in terms of the, um, Tim, in, ter in terms of the appearance, cause like people that were in the, a lot of people that work in, in the health, you know, health services fields where they have to wear a uniform to work, they're part of a, you know, whether it's nurses, doctors, healthcare pr practitioners or whatever, there were, there were a lot of, uh, industry, industry kind of rules where they couldn't have tattoos visible while they were working. Have you had people come to you because they wanted to get a specific job and they needed to get rid of the tat? Oh, absolutely. Um, anything on below the wrist or above the collar um, is kind of frowned upon in, in most industries, especially the military. I have a lot of prospective military that come to me um, and I usually um, correspond with their recruiting officer just to kind of keep them clued in on, on the progress and everything. And um, that, that usually helps people get into the military. And so I've seen the same thing with jobs. If, if anyone needs me to contact their, who they're, who they're getting employed by, I'm more than happy to do that. But I, I do see that pretty often. Amber, what about for female artists, for R&B artists, for female hip hop artists? What about that? What about their tattoos? Um, well, you know, I think to each his own, to be honest, uh, you know, it's all about what you want and what, you know, you're confident with getting. And like we've discussed plenty of times, you know, just making sure that what you're getting is something that you truly want because you don't want to have to deal with, you know, having to pay, I don't know if it's hundreds or thousands of dollars to get them removed. Um, so I think, you know, whether it's female, you know, or male or, um, you know, anything else, I think it's really up to that person. Um, I don't think women should be excluded from the tattoo world. You know, um, they're just as expressive as the male rappers. So, you know, it's, it's pretty much up to them, whatever they want to do. Amber, in, ter in terms of in terms of trends, do you see any trends emerging, especially for women? Um, I think maybe the face tat thing. Um, I know, like, you know, some women back then I think of uh there's a certain reality show I can't think of the name of it but there was a young woman on there who had a butterfly on her cheek or yeah the side of her face and I remember that was such a big thing and after that you saw so many people getting that and like now we see women you know I think to like Amber Rose she has a tattoo on her forehead you know we we hadn't see, seen things like that before so I think that's becoming like more of a trend with the women at least um we're seeing like more face tats um I think that's something that's trending mostly um you guys can correct me but I've been seeing a lot more face tats I think yeah no I, th I think on, on social media too Tim we saw recently um Black China reality tv star Black China have a tattoo removed that she thought was you know that she said was demonic it was a demonic image and now she's uh, become a, a, a born-again Christian have you had anything similar to that uh um a couple following to you a couple, um, a couple people that have, have lost faith and they, they have uh, religious tattoos and they, they want to remove them. Um, not so much on the demonic side and going to, to the good side, but, um, but yeah, that it's, it's, it's not super common, but I, but I have run into that for sure. And then exes that are, you know, people that come in that have their ex tattooed on them and like very elaborate, some, you know, very elaborate tattoo and they want yeah, to remove. I, I, I see a lot of names. I see a lot, a lot of names come through here for sure. So, so best bet if it's still iffy, hold off on that, right, Kevin? I, and I tell you all the time, like, if it's not forever, if it's not your your child, if it's not like blood relation, like, <laughs> don't get it. Just don't get it. I agree. Things can change, and it's a lot. Things can change, and it's a lot more difficult to change a tattoo. Yes. If you if you have if you have that, but well, um, Kevin, any last tips for for people that want to get tattoos? Uh, my last tip, my main tip is just take your time. Just take your time. Do your research. You're not going anywhere. Just take your time. Exactly. Amber, final word on the on the culture, the tattoo. Is it going away or stay and here to stay? Um, you never know. It might become something that starts to fade. Um, you know, right now we have like the VVL culture that's kind of fading away. So you know, some rappers are not even wearing big chains anymore. Tattoos. Oh, no, nah, Amber, it's not going nowhere. <laughs> 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 you know um it may become a thing where we just don't see them you know getting fully tatted or on the face but um you know who's to say we'll see well that will definitely definitely see tim fi final word for people before they uh you know before before they get a tattoo or before they decide to take it off uh, double triple make sure that's what you want to get because uh that I, I, I drove with all my clients and then, then they're like oh they, they kind of hate coming to see me sometimes and I laugh. I'm like, it's the cost of looking cool, I guess, you know?
Thanks for joining us for this episode of Street Soldiers on the tattoo explosion. You can share it and watch it again on our Fox 5 NY YouTube page. Remember, use your mind. It's your best weapon. I'm Lisa Evers. Let's push for peace, love, and justice for all.